eating and enjoy the events all together. Team has taken a lot of efforts to organize, conduct, and make this experience, meeting more experiential to you. So kindly request you to stay always. Please be present in a professional attire when you are exposing yourself to camera. And we also request, request if your bandwidth permits all of you to stay available in video mode using your web camera. Kindly keep the chat window open for any messages that come here and they're giving you some guidance and advice. With these few requests to adhere to some ground rules, it's my proud pride and privilege to introduce and invite the presiding officer of today, none other than the president of Medley Toastmasters Club, Toastmaster Rangarajan, beaming with smile to inaugurate the Medley 650 over to you, president. Thank you very much. You're on mute. It usually happens. Thank you so much for your kind words, DTM Guru Prasad. A hearty welcome to you all to Medley Milestone Meeting number 650. With the sound of this gavel, I declare open meeting number 650. I'm immensely happy to welcome the district trio. District Director TM Satish Menon, Program Quality Director DTM Ati Mangalam Jairaj, and Club Growth Director DTM CG Gayatri, along with our Division C Director TM Nadira Fais, all of whom have graciously accepted our invitation. We are pleased to have a mint hot semi finalist at the 2021 ISC, Toastmaster Dilan Joseph who will display his talents and inspire us today. A warm welcome to Toastmaster Dilan Joseph from neighboring Emerald Island of Sri Lanka. We are one of the earliest clubs of Chennai and Tamil Nadu. Founder president, DTM VN Subramaniam, and founders, DTM Sampat Sauri Rajan and DTM Jaker continue to be Medlians as the link with the past. A couple of veterans who pioneered Toastmasters in Tamil Nadu did their part. They joined hands with the founding team to fructify the vision of Toastmaster Santi Swaminathan. Born in 2008, Medley has validated its name Medley with the maximum variety of membership profiles. There were many times when the early office bearers struggled to conduct meetings due to lack of funds, venues to conduct meetings and membership. This milestone is time for Thanksgiving, for their vision, for their grit and their sacrifices. Thank you. We have amongst us a galaxy of stars, DTMs and past presidents of Medley. Even though they are in different stations in life, they have retained their bonds with Medley and have chosen to be with us for this milestone meeting. At this moment, Medley would like to remember one of our brightest stars, TM Tyagarajan, who passed away in May, 2021. Many points in time, Medley survived through tough times to emerge as a club of repute. Time to thank the loyal Medleyans who have contributed and gained over the years. The program today is put together by a young team of Medleyans, led by one of our emerging leaders with a creative bent of mind, Toastmaster Venkatesation. He is a trendsetter. In 2017, he was working for a firm in the US and of course he worked from home. His neighbors presumed that he was not gainfully employed. Three years later, in March, 2020, the entire world embraced his practice. He has two sons, and the younger naughty one usually plays peekaboo during our daily milestone preparations. We are confident that as the events unfold, it will be fun, frolic, and time well spent. Over to Toastmaster Vegetization. Thanks, Toastmaster PM Rangarajan. 
Yes, now we are living in a new normal world. Promises are just empty words if you are not keeping them. Before I move into the theme of the day, I would like to introduce uh, the timer of our today's session, Mohanasundaram Devaraj. He is a software engineer working with Anubhavam Software. So he will be tracking the timing of each event and he will be playing a background card showing the timing of each event. So whenever the event crosses green, he will show green, amber, and red. Once it crosses red, the speaker has to end his speech in another next 30 seconds. Mohanasundaram will showcase the card details now. Uh, you can pin him whenever you are planning to speak so that you can track your time. Mohanasundaram, can you show green? Yeah. You can show amber now. Thanks, Mona Sundaram. You can show red. Thank you. Thanks, Mona Sundaram. Medley celebrates the momentous milestone meeting today in the presence of our honored guests, only because of the founders of Medley and those who led Medley ably for more than a decade that followed, kept their promises making 649 meetings a possibility marked by over 2,500 speeches was made possible by over 4,000 role players. Imagine how many hours of dear sleep they must have been stolen from our fellow Medleyans, which have gone behind this milestone. The sheer numbers, the effort behind it, all of it is the reason for us to be proud about at this moment. There are so many people we need to thank for this. Let us all do it in a medley style with a flashback of events that had brought us to this milestone 650. Medley owes its birth in 2008 to the grit and sacrifices of the founders, inspired by the vision of Mrs. Santi Swaminathan. Founder President DTM VN Subramanian, DTM Sambat Saurirajan, and DTM Jaker, all proud Medleyans, provide the vital link with the legacy. A long chain of leaders has enriched Medley, together shaping its ethos and character. Part of its unique DNA is the bonhomie among a mutually supportive 
and demographically varied group to all medley is their second family and uh, as expected uh, 2020 started with the bank you can see the wonderful decorations that were done here all around the room a very special meeting a lot of guests and members so thank you so we had uh, three prepared speeches the first one was given by uh, toastmaster rangarajan gave us ice breaker and uh, the second speech was given by toastmaster nami again giving the ice breaker third speech was given by me pranam and uh, following this we had a very lengthy and wonderful daily session given by our tt master toastmaster dinesh and uh, Best TT speaker, where is the man? Man, TT and Guru Prasad, please come. You can have your samosa. The superstar called as the superstar of my team. beginning of medley is golden memory in my mind we had a quite a few pre charter meetings we started getting more and more guests and they started enjoying and getting impressed but the issue was toastmasters was a very new concept in chennai and for them to agree to become a member was a bit of a problem by and by we did manage that and we chartered it and the rest is history medley a great club Congratulations Medley on this milestone. Medley is a club that I adore so much. Medley has always been the front runner among community clubs. No doubt it has transformed many lives in the community in terms of communication and leadership. Great going Medley. All the very best for many more milestones to come your way thank you so much medley has been a nursery for leadership many medleyans have gone on to lead other clubs in india and abroad has also served in the district and even in region 13 ecosystem facilitates medleyans to develop their talents and make a mark in contests competing with the best
वेलकम टू मेडली माइलस्टोन मीटिंग नंबर 650 वेलकम यू टू मेडली माइलस्टोन मीटिंग नंबर 650 वेलकम टू मेडली माइलस्टोन मीटिंग 650 वेलकम टू मेडली माइलस्टोन मीटिंग नंबर 650 even as we are proud of our past future is immensely promising what with young and vibrant minds joining the talent pool you are always welcome Thank you everyone for uh, watching this short movie as a tribute to all medlians who have made this possible. There are so many people to thank but we have been limited because of the time but we thank each and every one who have contributed in all possible ways to make this. This is a history that inspires all of us. I hope the clubs that struggle to find role players take heart from medley medley also has gone through lean times even we had time when tm modi has to do the timer rules at the moment trust the human grit that succeeds now is the right setting that we need to invite with great pride our first speaker toast toastmaster satish menon our district 120 director one minute sir toastmaster satish menon is one of the co-founders of thirdware solution private limited an it solutions and services organization established in 1995 with five individuals and now it is close to 600 plus resources He has been a Toastmaster since 2013 and have risen up the ranks from club level, club level to area, division, and district. He has been a president, president distinguished area director and president distinguished division director. He has been the conference co-chair for Reverberation 2017 and co-conference for Ovation 2019. He was also the club growth director for district 82 and program quality director for district 120 and now he is the district director for district 120 welcome you sir thank you dear body those master reputation a very good afternoon to everyone who is present here today for the 650th milestone meeting of medley toast masters club when all of us join toastmasters we join for a particular reason it's either to improve ourselves in the field of communication to get over our stage fright to be better at networking to be better as a persuasive persuasive influencer to be better as a leader there are a lot of things but there is always a why of why each one of us join toastmasters for and when we join toastmasters it's not that we can just sign up and then we continue to give our speeches we all look for a club to start our journey with to continue our journey with and to grow as we move along with those masters and to that extent uh, clubs are like institutions so when we all uh, attended school and when we passed out of school all of us would say proudly that this is the school that we passed out of right there is a pride in which we say this is our alma mater when we go to college and we pass out of college we say it with pride i am an alumni of that particular college even when we start working all of us say very proudly that i work for that particular company or i used to work for that particular company right? if we are entrepreneurs when we take pride in saying that this is the organization that i help create or I, or i founded so there is always that pride of that alma mater and a lot of that comes in because of the things that we learn there if you look at school it is where we our character our personality gets shaped up to a large extent 
So there's a lot that we owe to our alma mater in that manner. When we go to college, that is where we polish ourselves, we become better at what we set out to do in the field of education. And then when we get out of college and we are successful, we said, oh, there's a lot that I learned in that particular college. Same when we start working and we said, when I joined organization A or organization B, it molded me as a complete individual or it helped me with the skills which helped me to go beyond what I was supposed to do. But if you look at Toastmasters, clubs play that part. So when we are part of a particular club, that legacy of the club rubs off in each one of us. And if we stay on with the club, we stay on because we find that there is something right that the club is doing. It is helping me meet my objectives of why I joined Toastmasters. So it is helping me get out the why of why I am here. That's a very important role that the clubs play. The entire club ecosystem, the way it treats members, the way it welcomes guests, the way it guides members through their educational and leadership journey. The opportunities that it gives to members to flourish both within the club and outside the club. The way it gives the freedom to members to express themselves. The way it motivates members to go beyond club and take up roles at area, division, district and beyond. So there's a lot that a club does. And when we took a look at a club like Medley, celebrating its 650th milestone, a lot of it would have been done correctly by Medley as a club for it to come to this 650 number. Because if that was not the case, the club wouldn't have survived beyond six months. And we see a lot of those clubs in the, in the district, not only in District 120, but across Toastmasters globally. Clubs that start with a flourish, die with a whimper. They were there two months ago. You look back two months later, the club doesn't exist at all. There are some clubs which are perpetually in an intensive care unit where there are two or three people who are who don't want the club to die because they've got a lot of memories or other things associated with it. So they just keep it running in the hope that someday the patient will wake up okay, and things will all come back to normal. And then you have clubs like Medley who are now on the 650th milestone. So this effectively means that the club has been doing a lot of things right. And a club by itself cannot survive. The club can only survive if the members feel that they are getting something out of the club. And 650 today is a number which has been made up because of the contribution of a lot of members, right from the people who started it to the members who sustained it and to the members who are there today. And this is a role model for all the clubs in the district on how to build a community, how to build a community that will help people realize the value of the time and money that they are investing in Toastmasters, how to realize the true value is something like the club like Medley can help members to achieve. And I have seen from the time I joined Toastmasters that Medley has given a lot of leaders to district, first while district 82 and now to district 120 across all levels. It has produced eminent speaking champions. It's given a lot of district leaders right down to the former district director and beyond. And those are some of the things which I would want every club in the district to kind of work towards. Because end of the day, if the members are happy, they will turn turn return back to the club meetings. If the club meetings happen in a proper manner, the members feel satisfied, they get what they want to get out of Toastmasters, the club remains a happy club and the club remains a successful club. Many, many thanks to Medley for having helped Toastmasters members achieve their goals of why they have, have come into Toastmasters and helping former, current, and future members achieve the why of why they are here in Toastmasters. Here's wishing Medley all the very best and looking forward to many more such successful milestones in the future.
Thank you. All the very best and happy Toastmastering. Now back to you, PM Modi. Welcome. Thanks, PM Satish. That is leadership with sights set on the horizon. What we learn from makes the pride of the alma mater. We at Medley feel proud of our alma mater as it helps us grow as a person and as a social leader through the ecosystem and education it provides. We will surely strive to create value to everyone who touches Medley. Thank you, sir. Our next, our next speaker is District 120 Program Quality Director, DTM Arthi Mangalam Jairaj. She has been the Toastmaster since October 2016. Starting off as Vice President Education, she has served as Assistant Area Director, TLI Co-Chair, Area Director, Division Director of Division F, a President's Distinguished Division, and currently Program Quality Director of District 120. She has also been a district contestant in table topic and division contestant in ISC and evaluation contest. A leadership trainer, a linguist, linguist a psychometric assessor, coach, and a mentor. Arthi has 17 years of experience in the learning and development space. A triple bros graduate holder in mass communication and journalism, linguistics, linguistics psychology, she is currently pursuing her PhD. She also has a diploma in criminology. With a wide range of interests, she pursues her education based on her passion. Please join me welcoming DTM Arti Mangalam. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Toastmaster of the day. A very warm good evening to all Medley Toastmasters. Indeed, it's a great pleasure to be present with you all in your 650th milestone. Now, as usual, when we talk about a speech and address, we do some amount of research. And while I was thinking what to talk about, an interesting parable came to mind. Once upon a time, the sun and the cave stuck up a conversation. They were talking to each other. The sun was not able to understand what dark meant. And cave didn't quite understand what light and clear meant. So they decided to visit each other. One fine morning, the cave went up to the sun and from there he could see the entire world. And the cave said, I see this is beyond beautiful. I've never seen anything so wonderful. Having said that, the cave invited the sun to come down and see where the cave had been living. The sun went down to the cave, took a look around and said, oh, I don't see any difference at all. But what really happened was when the sun went down, it took its light along with itself and even the darkest corners were illuminated. That's why the sun could not see any difference. This fantastic quote which says, the enlightened ones can never be sent to hell or pushed into darkness. They carry their heaven on their shoulders all the time. While I know this sounds like such a simple thing, but this is exactly what all of us expect from Medley as a club. Absolutely, I'm in sync with Satish when he said, we have to look at what our members get, your alma maters, you make sure your club is benefited. But for a club celebrating its 650th milestone, there is one more added responsibility which is the responsibility it has to bringing more new clubs, helping the new clubs, making sure the new clubs in our district are able to survive. Because not only do we look at Medley as yet another club, but we look up to Medley as a club that will be able to guide us. And with that kind of an expectation, you know, as they say, with great powers come great responsibility. You have created the power by celebrating the 650th milestone. Now you have the responsibility. I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the members for making this possible and wishing all the current new and the ex-members of Medley a wonderful journey ahead. 
gone are the times when you set your sights on the golden gavel and DCP9. But now it's time to look at becoming a club which can go ahead and be the mentor for many more new clubs who are upcoming and the ones that are struggling. Thank you so much for all your support and using this opportunity to request all of you to continue your support. Wishing you all many more such wonderful milestones. May your tribe grow. Thank you so much and back to you Toastmasters of the day. Thank you, ma'am. I was awestruck listening to uh, your speech. Very simple and very sound message. I hope it has added to the wisdom bank for all of our participants, the Sun Cave story. Thank you, ma'am, for that. And I'm sure we will take and grow our buddy clubs with us and we will ensure that we will grow in size, also in the number of clubs, and we will put all our efforts towards it. Thank you, ma'am. Following the famous sandwich method in Toastmasters, let us intersperse words of wisdom with some fun. Toastmaster Surya will take us on the first two of our fun zone today, and he will scramble our brains. Toastmaster Surya is a passionate runner and an avid reader, an enthusiastic Toastmaster who is always ready to play any roles as needed whenever VP education runs into the play, role players crunch. Over to you, Toastmaster Surya. In introduction, listeners, Toastmasters and guests, are you all excited about what event is this? You can voice out. Yes. I'm equally excited. I'm equally excited because I'm on screen after a long time and my hands are shivering. <laughs> How many of you had watched this movie called Onion released 12 years back? Please switch on the camera. I could see some fair number of hands going up. Okay, for the people who do not know this movie, it in this movie, hero will kill wrongdoers using punishments that are described in Garuda Puranam. Garuda Puranam is an ancient Hindu scripture and he will leave a hint by providing a scrambled word of that punishment, representing it for the police to identify that. Now we are going to play that game. In today's game, I am the hero, obviously, and you are the police. And I have some brilliant words chosen from the Garuda Puranam of Toastmasters. Those are scrambled for your display. And I'll give you some second, few seconds to identify it. And the people who watched this movie, don't ask me whether I'll get Mundri Bakoda or Kumbi Bagam. You will never get it. Okay. It is Garuda Puranam of Toastmasters. Now I'll share my screen. Please voice out and let me know if you are able to see my screen. Yes. Yes. Perfect. I'm sure that there is a black screen that's visible just to hide my first word. Okay. Here comes the first word. This word, if we invert the W, I could able to see our VP's name, Sampath. Now identify what word is this. Pathways. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Pathways, without even showing the clues. I think district player shall be, shall be excluded from the company. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. So unfair. That is unfair. <laughs> no, we won't do that. A new way to communicate excellence. Pathways. Next word. It's a Manual. six letter word. Yes. Manual. Someone said it. Manual. Perfect. Manual. 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 The trier will walk away with all the yeah, prizes. I'm sure. I'm sure. Okay. But you know, we are happy with the leadership. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I would encourage all the members as well to participate actively before yeah. showing the clues. 
Uh, Surya, do you have the rule? Yeah. Surya, do you have the rule that uh, who, those who have answered right, they will be excluded from the next question? <laughs> uh, if you feel like being excluded out of it, you can exclude yourself. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Just sir. give chance to others as well. Because I, I do not know who is answering it since I am sharing the screen. Manuel, next word. People okay. who already answered, please pass. <laughs> pass is the right answer. Medley. Yes, Medley. Medley. I think uh, we should have set a tough question paper. <laughs> a tougher one, maybe. Uh, Medley. No, Renewal. Ah, February, March. Renewal. 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 Metaphor. 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 came up like a flash. Yes. Metaphor. 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 One of the Respect. values. Respect. 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 And the last word of today's meeting. I Base believe camp. at least this will be. Base tough. camp. Base camp. <laughs> wow. Okay. Identified. Well, we camp. should have got well. some more words also. So with with these words, I'm just signing off from uh, this meeting hope you had enjoyed but i never expected the uh, answers would come up so quickly yeah thank you we hope you had enjoyed we are, we, we are trying to tackle a, a, a phd an aspiring phd so we have to keep that in check yes, no? <laughs> thank you all thank you surya thank you surya please unshare your screen yeah, Zoom Master, can you put everybody on mute, please? Yeah. Except me. <laughs> Thank you. It was a mind-blowing game, Surya. And as you said, we could have done two things as a feedback to you, as an evaluator. You could have come up with more words and more tough question paper, I think. <laughs> so uh, thanks for bringing out a child out of every one of us. I personally enjoyed the game. I was waiting to get the next clue so that I could answer any one question. But unfortunately, nobody were looking for a clue. They came up like, like a flash. Hope it has entertained all our participants as well. Before I move to the next session, our next speaker is DTM Gayatri TG who is the District 120 Club Growth Director. Distinguished Toastmaster Gayatri is a software engineer by profession and a public speaker by passion. Currently working as a project manager with DXC Technologies, she is also pursuing her PG on artificial intelligence and machine learning. She has worked in various roles, including pre-sales consultant, operations manager, and design architect. She loves reading, singing, and cooking. For the last eight years, 
She has been associated with Toastmasters International and has served at various positions at the club level, Area K1 Director, Division Director in Division K, and Assistant Club Growth Director for direct District 82, <coughs> Tamil Nadu, and District Logistics Manager. She has been awarded as Star Area Director and Star Division Director. She has served as club sponsor for two clubs and club mentor for three. She is the current club growth director for District 120. With this, I welcome you, ma'am, DTM Gayatri CG. Thank you. A very good evening to one of all present here. I am actually reminiscing the days when uh, we used to travel to the Gandhinagar Club or the IITM Research Park at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And then there would be three hours of fun and frolic that we wouldn't know that the time has passed. Uh, I'm really taken back to those days, looking at all the historical videos that were shared. It was, uh, it's actually, the Medley Toastmasters Club is not just a club. As you all call yourself, it's definitely more than just a club, more like a family because of the bonding we have uh, with each other. Uh, it's not just within Medley that they have the bonding. The club has a beautiful bond with the district as well. Just like the club has a lot of pillars who had taken care of the club right from the beginning, I think this club has also been a, part, a pillar for the district as such. Be it any event, uh, there will always be participation from this club extending the support. Be it any sort of pioneer initiative that you can think of, this club would have definitely brought in or would have been one of the first few to adapt to it. And I'm very sure this is one of the club that will also raise a voice when something goes wrong. I think all these are very essential for something to be a pillar and support and be part of the growth. A couple of days ago, I was having a word with my cousin and uh, his company was offering to extend his uh, H-1B visa. And uh, he was asking them not to do that. And I was surprised because he is in his... Uh, youth age and he is not that kind of a person who wants to be in India. He was looking to travel abroad and I asked him what was the reason that he was refusing his uh, H-1B extension and he said if I go to US I may have to be with people whom I don't want to be with. I may have to talk to people uh, that I probably want to avoid. I may have to spend weekends with them and I asked if it was his manager or his team and he said they were different, but then there was another team and he has to be with them and he was refusing his H-1B visa because he wasn't comfortable doing that. At the end of the day, it is not about money or position or your status. It's all about the people whom we are with. That's what I felt. And uh, our Medley Toastmasters Club is a testimony to that. If you see uh, and if you speak with any person who is part of this club, there is one thing that you can definitely feel from them, which is the pride that they own for being part of the club. And because of the beautiful initiatives and the processes that this club follows, I think there is nothing wrong or nothing surprising that everybody feels that pride. In fact, definitely district is also proud to have such a club like this. Like I said, for being a pillar and for ensuring that we grow together, there is a requirement for bonding. There is a requirement to ensure that we all work for the organization. And more importantly, when something goes wrong, we should be the first person to voice out and set it right. And I have seen all of this happening with Medley and happening by Medley for everybody. I think that is the true spirit that keeps this club glowing, even when the mode changed to online. And every, despite every challenge, whenever we join the meeting, I think we still feel the same energy. Whether it was Gandhinagar Club or IITM Research Park or even the mode as Zoom, I feel the same energy whenever I meet you all and be with you. Keep up the cheer. It's very, very nice to see the club reaching great milestones and bringing in new members and grooming them and then creating contestants, creating champions, and then creating great leaders uh, as well. So it's a beautiful moment and occasion to celebrate the milestone. 650 is a very big number, but for Medley, it is just a small milestone. I'm very sure we are going to create lots and lots of milestones. I'm happy to be a spectator and a co-traveler with Medley Toastmasters Club, watching you all uh, reach the great journey together. 
my wishes for more and more such milestone meetings. Let us keep traveling together. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, thanks for the uh, wonderful wishes for the medley. We, some of the medleyans, are waiting for those fun days at IIT Madras and Gandhi Nair Club, which we have not experienced so far as some of us joined during our new normal days. As you said, people don't leave organizations, either it be profession or the Toastmasters. They leave people or they stay with people. Yes, we all feel proud of being part of our medley. Thank you, ma'am. Our next planned a speaker is Toastmaster Nadira Faiz. And as she is unwell, so she won't be able to join us uh, today. Uh, sorry for that. So we need to skip that uh, session. And we will move on to the next session now. <clears throat> as Aristotle once said, a promise made must be a promise kept. Make these promises live in its young members. Our fellow Medlian is a powerful XCOM member. Yes, she's our treasurer. She joined us in March 2021. And within two months, she did four roles in the club and did an icebreaker speech within a month of joining. And also she was elected as a treasurer within three months of her joining. She is fondly called as sprinter of medley. She is none other than Toastmaster Aishwarya. Unfortunately, she could not join us today as, as, as she had a bereavement in her family yesterday night. Our condolences to her family, to, to your family, Toastmaster Aishwarya. To fill in her role, I will perform the role of Young Turks today. To play this role of Young Turks, I have some of the Young Turks from our Medley Toastmasters who will join with me for a round table discussion, panel discussion. I request the Zoom master to spotlight the Young Turks along with me. Yeah, may I request the Young Turks to switch on their videos, please? Uh, I'm not able to spotlight unless you start the videos. Yeah, uh, Shiva. Atishai, can you please come? Yeah, one minute. One minute. Okay. Here you go. Okay. So these are some of the young Turks who are going to be the torch bearers, bearers for medley in the coming days. So I'm thankful to the medley organizers to coordinate this specific program on Young Turks. As a Toastmaster Aishwarya was planning and preparing the entire uh, program, the event, I would like to give a glimpse of her journey so far. So according to Aishwarya, medley Toastmasters is all about encouraging each other to be the best version of themselves. That's why she likes medley Toastmasters. She joined Medley Toastmasters as a recommendation from one of her colleagues that joined the Toastmasters club, you will learn all the skills naturally. And she says that, that as I'm standing in front of the to Medley Toastmasters today, she has learned immensely and has improved a lot of things in her professional and personal life during this around seven months of journey with Medley Toastmasters. With that, I would like to talk to Toastmaster Shiva. Shiva is a systems engineer by profession and has a decade of experience in his field. He's an aspiring life coach. His hobbies are listening to audio books and travel to new places. His view on the theme is he believes in leading from the friend and, reminded, and that reminds him about the core. A leader is the one who knows the way, who goes the way and shows the way. Shiva, I know that you have taken a personal break in Toastmasters journey and you joined recently in Medley Toastmasters. Can you tell us why you joined back in Medley and why you chose Medley Toastmasters? 
Okay, thank you, Venkat, for that opportunity. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmaster and guest. So first of all, being an introvert during my childhood, I always had a difficulty in getting along with my friends and express my, my idea freely. I was fortunate enough to participate in a Toastmaster Club meeting when I was with my previous organization. There I found a ray of hope uh, which would help me to break through the limitations which I had. Then I have decided to join the Toastmaster Club. And I was visiting various avenues until uh, finally I land here at Toast, uh, Medley Toastmaster in 2020. The reason why I chose uh, Medley is the commitment which I have seen in this fraternity is immaculate and the compassion and the support I have been receiving uh, from the fellow Medleyans, particularly the senior members is remarkable. No wonder why we call Medley as a second family. This place is a haven to anyone who strives for greatness and has the hunger to succeed. I'm extremely grateful and privileged to be part of this Medley family. And thank you for this opportunity, Venkat. Thanks for that, uh, Shiva. I could see that uh, you used to listen audio books. Uh, can you recommend a book, audio book, uh, audio book or two to our audience and any app that you suggest? Um, so, I started the one audiobook which has transformed my life is um, Awake in the Jain Within from Tony Robbins. And uh, that one I would recommend to everyone. And other than that, I am I have a subscription with a, a company called Mind Valley, where we have tons of materials for personal development. I would also recommend that. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Shiva, for that. So next, we will move on to Dharan. I know Dharan has joined Medley recently as well. And I'm glad to say that he has taken up so many roles and attended meetings regularly in the last, I think, three months you have been here, right, uh, Dharan? Two months, two months, two months. last yeah. two months. That's great. So what was what is your experience so far with Medley Toastmasters in this last two months? And, and for others' information, Dharan is a fitness enthusiast, and I would like to get some fitness advice from him after this after he answers this and for your kind of information i'm a sports biomechanist yeah which means a strength and conditioning coach right yes, please go ahead. yeah so when i met lee uh actually i'm a, i mean uh, my toastmaster journey is more than six years but then i have taken two years break during this covid uh, due to a lot of reasons i mean basically we are going to start up so we were doing a lot of brainstorming and a lot of stuff due to laziness i took a break from toastmasters and recently i joined toastmaster i mean medley club and uh, when i inquired about the club details and everything toastmaster ranga and toastmaster charanya was like quite supportive and they were giving a lot of information about the toastmasters a meeting and uh, membership details and everything especially in medley's what i strongly or uh, seriously observe the speech standards are very very high right and uh, the uh, the the evaluation methods also very very high usually when i mean i have attended a lot of meetings whenever i go basically body language voice tone and then uh, body uh, introduction all those stuff is the quite common uh, evaluation method but in medley i, I could see a lot of uh, wisdom in evaluation and high standards are very very high and it's my privilege to collaborate with some of the uh, veterans veteran toastmasters like sambat savi rajan sir ddm guru prasad a lot of people are there and uh, when i speak with them right a lot of wisdom about toastmasters and life as well how to lead the toastmaster journey for for a longer duration and i feel very honored and glad to be in medley all the very best to everyone as well for the journey yeah thanks for that uh, Dharan. just a quick question i need a quick answer from you as well so yes. what is the difference between a gym master and biophysics mechanist sports biomechanist right? sports yeah. biomechanist yeah so basically as a fitness trainer a person who trains inside the gym uh, gets a basic <clears throat> data a sports biomechanist uh, is a person where he'll be using a lot of technical devices. He will assess each and every joint of your body and he'll say, this is, this, is the, this is your optimal movement. 
if you move like this your injury percentage is very very less basically if for an example if you are if you are going for a formula 1 or a, let's say some kind of uh, rugby right all those sports are quite uh, uh, i mean uh, dangerous sports i mean the risk is very high so for that people has to train in a different way to make their body very sturdy for that we work with them very closely we assess them and we tell them this is how you have to train Okay. This I is understand. the structure you have to train. So that's okay. the role of a sports biomechanist. Biomechanist, basically a mechanic, mechanical work. Oh, biomechanist. Understood. Sports yeah. Biomechanist. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, then, uh, for a clear explanation on that. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, we'll move on to Atishai. Uh, so Atishai is in Medley for the last uh, around one year, I think, but is already into the contest bandwagon of Medley. He has gone till the club level and even to uh, the uh, area level. So he has been a good public speaker for the last uh, around 12 months. So my question to you, Atishai, is which speech in your journey with Medley so far has inspired you the most and why it is? Uh, thank you, Venkar, for that question. Uh, I recollect a lot of great speeches that I've hear heard here at Medley. And I think the best one was the one that I heard from uh, Toastmaster Thomas Abraham. He has this speech where uh, it's kind of like a roast for the XCOM. So he goes over everything that the XCOM does. And it's a hubris speech. And he extrapolates a lot of things. He mimics uh, different things that happen only inside the XCOM meetings. So that was that's one of my favorite speeches. And the fact that something as serious and as formal and as uh, uh, as as codified and as uh, as strict as the XCOM can be converted into a humorous speech and can actually make people laugh, it really just goes on to show what's possible if you know your content and if you're good at speaking. Okay. Yeah. Thanks uh, for that, Adishai. I have one last question to you, Adishai. Uh, since you are already into the contest bandwagon, uh, as I said earlier, what has been your experience and one simple advice to the young Turks, the other young Turks with you today? Right. So the contest is super fun. Like, uh, it's not, it's not very, there's nothing different as such. You just have to prepare a speech and say, uh, like say it out. But the fact that it's contest and that, that there are, so there's two things, right? When you're speaking in a club meeting, it's not, it's just that, okay, you go through the manual, you stick to everything that's laid out in the manual, and then you just fulfill the project objectives. But when it's a contest, there's this extra, uh, there's this extra feeling of competition. You, you're not there just to uh, deliver what is written in the manual. You're there to actually win a prize. So there's motivation and there's a drive. Everyone wants to win the first prize. So it's just, it just feels better and it motivates you to grow. My advice to everyone would just be to like participate in the contest, right? So even if you're planning club speeches, do it as if you're there to win. So we have the best speaker in the club, right? So do, if, uh, do the speeches as if you're planning to win that best speaker prize. And eventually that will transfer to your contest performance. And yeah, it's honestly, it's just super simple. You just give a speech, you do it well, you win the contest. That's all there is to it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. Uh, very simple uh, advice. And I think it would help our other Young Turks as well. So as we are nearing the closure of this Young Turks uh, session, I, I would request all the Young Turks to loudly say medley or pride and promise all together. I will say one, two, three. So you three can say. Medley or medley <laughs> or. <laughs> we should wait for Venka to say one. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Medley, medley, our, pride, medley our, our pride and a promise. And a promise. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Dharan, Shiva, and Atishai for that entertaining and encouraging words and messages that you have given to us. It's a, uh, the promising and young members will surely make us proud in the days and the milestones to come. Fellow participants, as a matter of fact, the average day of today's role players of this meeting is 26. Yes, young 26. This too was also skewed up because of me. Otherwise, it would have been much lesser than this. So 
now we are into the evergreen session for any toastmaster table topic session and we have our toastmaster ashwin with fun quoted tt session ashwin is in the profession of wealth management for almost 20 years now he owns zibello wealth private limited in chennai life is beautiful because of three important factors grace of god good people around us and good books that's what he says from his promise to medley to stay connected as much as possible and try his best to spread the joy of hope so joy of hope and happiness let us watch and enjoy with him and see how he will take us through this session over to you ashwin thank you very much ashwin uh, extremely happy once again to be a part of uh, medley it's been uh, quite some time and uh, before i could start thanks a lot for all of you and special thanks to uh, mr thomas uh, for assisting and taking it forward and making a lot of things possible here and uh, now um, as uh, venkatesan was saying uh, table topics is uh, I hope my voice is audible uh, i hope it is clear yeah Yeah, table topic is uh, one of the most interesting uh, part of uh, any any meet for that matter. And uh, right now, what we thought we will have it a uh, little more interesting. We'll uh, we are uh, going to bring the child uh, out of you as uh, we try to do uh, different things in various meetings. There will be a a word will be given. There will be a riddle. Uh, we need to find the riddle. then a topic which will be related to that and we need to speak uh, with respect to the topic i will uh, call out uh, one by one and then go into the uh, meet so to start with first we'll start with one of the veterans of uh, toastmasters and medley dr sambath hope dr sambath you are here audible oh. yes sir uh, yeah doctor here so you need to find the word here and uh, there will be uh, images given and a clue will be given so quickly so this is the image you able to find the image i need not go to the clue okay i'll give you the clue who mm -hmm. nee sorry little mm -hmm. nee um i'm not able to hear um no me yeah yeah okay i'll go ahead i think uh, some audio issue i'm not sure about this i'll go ahead the answer is kidney, kidney. so there's a kid no, and there's a very no i'm not able to follow you sorry Ashwin, your voice is very low. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Is it? Is it better now? Is it better yeah, now? Yeah, it is. Yeah, now better. Okay, good, good, good. All right, okay, okay. Sorry about that. So the there's a kid and there's a knee. The word is kidney, and uh, your topic is the importance of organ donation. Please go ahead. Uh, so, sorry to intervene. I request all others who are not speaking to be me on mute. You are creating unnecessary noise. Thank you. Okay. Yes, please go ahead. Good afternoon, friends. Organ donation has been on the rise in the last decade or more. A lot of news we hear, and a lot of uh, people asking each other, and in the social media also, we find a lot of things. Like the latest Pune Raj Kumar's eyes went for four different people, the sliced carnia, and when it comes to the clue word kidney we started it kidney transplant is a very tricky one and very costly one i know three people who have got the transplant and all of them are doing well in fact the one who got the kidney in 2000 he is still doing very well he is one of my colleagues from a such company And even today, I find this is happening. So, organ transplant, organ donation is on the rise. A lot of people are realizing. A lot of people are 
the will is the reason to be donated. I know this is happening, but there is another side to it. That is the cost of organ transplant, which is really exorbitant for most people. Even we can say the middle class of India, which has become more affluent these days, even for them it's very tough. For example, kidney transplant may cost in so many lakhs, including the follow-up and other things. It may reach close to a crore or something. That's very tough for them. So. Organ transplant is on the rise, and particularly the most often transplanted thing is the eye, which is started in history as a donation long back. Other things are catching up. Liver transplant, I know people who have got it, and the kidney transplant also. These two are much costlier than transplant. So that is the important thing because uh, the polymers and the synthetic materials are not able to produce. Good enough eco lens for our organ. Though there is one artificial kidney which has come up in 2010, which is still not in the market in a big way. Back to the table topic now. Thank you, uh, Dr. Sambath. Uh, interesting, and we will go to the next person right now. And um, next, I will like to invite uh, Toshmasters Priya. Priya, are you able to hear? I'm here. Yes, Priya. Yeah. So Priya, it will be quite similar. Uh, you will be having an image, then a clue, then the topic, and uh, going to the next part. Please find the word, and uh, we thought we'll give something quite interesting for you, Priya. And this is the image. If you can guess something with the image, the word with the image. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the clue in three seconds. Okay. Going with a clue. So, Google. Um, search machine. I don't know. What is this? Yeah, search. Yeah, first part is right. The second part, very close. Search. What is this next what, one? Is it? What we do with Google almost every day. So, what, what is the first part of the train? The first compartment of the train. Oh, okay. Search machine is what I said yeah, in the yeah, first. Yeah, very close. It is search engine. Okay, actually okay. search engine. Okay. All right. Okay, going ahead. Uh, search engine is a word. And what oh, was life actually... before the internet? That's your topic, uh, Priya. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, life before the internet. There is a saying, ignorance is bliss. And this was what exactly was life before the internet. Uh, let me, it's a very vast topic. Let me take with one section being from the field of medicine. Many a times, whenever we are in quick need of um, a solution, the one thing we do is Google and search. It may be any small problem. A small problem turns out to be a big problem because it is what the internet is saying. Even if it is just a fever and instead of going to a doctor and really using a wise, taking a wise uh, decision, what we do is use this internet, which is free, uh, for all of us, which is at our fingertips, we use this engine to find and we ourselves act as a doctor and uh, we complicate our life by sometimes making wrong decision. Um, um, you know, uh, it has happened to, in, in my very close circle, I have uh, witnessed this. It was just a very small mole, but when we try to dig and understand, because we are so restless these days, we want to have an answer for all our problems in a snap of the finger. And that mole turned out to be not an ordinary one. It gave so much of medical terminologies after that. It said it can lead to so many complications. You may end up, uh, you know, have, having, uh, it may be end of your life and whatnot. But when you go to a doctor, he laughs at you and says, you are being very silly. Try to use your brain because you're educated people. So that is one not so good sign 
side of internet, but the very good side of internet is uh, it has showed us that how small the world is. Education, uh, this platform has really helped all of us. Exam the best example is we celebrating our 650th meeting, not missing our friends, not missing a celebration because this uh, internet has been also, it has also been one of the reasons for not missing any of our family members or not missing any of our celebration. So I would like to conclude saying everything is there before us, which is uh, the nature as well as the internet. We need to use a uh, thing wisely and nicely. Thank you. Thank you very much, Priya. We'll go ahead. And uh, before, before going ahead, I would... Uh, like to um, invite uh, Toshmaster Sharanya. Sharanya, uh, can you please yeah. come online? Yes, I'm available. Uh, yes, Sharanya. Sharanya, you will have uh, something quite similar to that. You, are, you will have uh, two images. Uh, let's find out, try to find out a word. And these are the images. Yeah, if this is not clear, this is. Tidy. Yeah. Tidy. Wow, wonderful. Thank you. So the, the clue is supposed to be clean. And uh, so the topic is related. The answer is tidy. The topic is quite related to our Toastmasters. So how do you tidy up a speech, speech script? How do you tidy up a speech script? So, yes. yeah. So good afternoon, fellow Toastmasters and guests. So uh, once I start writing my speech, right, I used to just grab all the memories, put it down. And usually I try to give a real time examples and I used to uh, write it in a congested manner. Then I'll sit and think like, how can I bring humor to my speech to make the speech interesting so that everybody um, understands and listens and get into the speech like whatever I'm telling. So uh, then I give it to my mentor who is the pre who is Priya, who spoke for the last TT topic. And uh, she used to help me in tidying up my speech in the best, in the best way she can. So uh, I've learned a lot, like just without, uh, just not only by preparing the script, but also by uh, tidying up the speech. Uh, I usually learned a lot when I do it. Yep. Uh, thanks for the wonderful topic. Over to you, uh, Toastmaster Ashwin. Yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Saranya. So we will go ahead. And now for the next uh, clue. And uh, I would like to invite um, one of another veteran of uh, Toastmasters, uh, DTM uh, VNS, uh, sir. Can you please unmute yourself? DTM uh, VNS. Okay, I think uh, no. Okay, we'll go ahead with our next person. I would uh, like to invite uh, Dr. Tiki uh, Sundaram. Uh, can you please uh, unmute yourself? Yes, I am available. Oh, yes. So you will have. You will need to guess this profession, and a clue will be given to you. So. Teacher, teacher, wow. T A C H E R, teacher. Great guess, and the clue is supposed to be what we have in the school, and uh, teacher is a word, very quick. Uh, and, uh, so what the, life the, the lesson title. did you learn the yeah. hard way? What life lesson did you learn the hard way? Please go ahead, uh, uh, Doctor P K Sundar. Mm. Uh, uh, Thank you, uh, Toastmaster uh, Aswin. This is one of the interesting topic. Actually, everybody has to be a teacher sometime or other. Actually, that is uh, one of the requirement in life, whether whatever profession you may be having. Actually, they assessed me. My I was working as an executive director in AECOM, and every year they assess our traits. They assessed actually me as a teacher and a pioneer, pioneer, pioneer and a teacher. So normally, uh, many people, many of my friends actually who 
uh, uh, take care of actually the uh, youngsters, their subordinates and their, uh, their colleagues and teach whatever they have got is actually one of the best thing. Actually, the lesson I learned is I have the, I learned many things. I studied many topics, and then in the contract management, then the youngsters were not well aware of things. So I learned actually that the teaching to them or training them is one of the best thing which actually the profession can do. You have, a, you have a, a professional person can do. So I actually adopt all these whenever I go and join a new office or whenever I uh, uh, come to, uh, in the new, uh, beginning of the year, every year, I give at least 10 to 15 lectures, especially on many topics. On Some of the topics are very, uh, not related to the profession, but related to the HR. And I teach all the time especially the um, uh, motivational theories of Maslow and other. That is actually how I uh, make them understand the theory of Maslow and the uh, motivation which they should and they should put best efforts in life to become a self-sufficient and uh, achieve the things in life. Thank you. Over to you, Arsene. Yeah. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Sindaram. So we, we will go ahead. Uh, and uh, now I would like to invite uh, Toastmaster Vegetation. Toastmaster Vegetation, can you please unmute? unmute? Toastmaster, there are some uh, noises there. Dr. Dr. Yes. Dr. DK Sundaram, can you please go on mute, please? Uh, yes. Can you please go on mute? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I think now it's clear. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, K. Modi. And uh, Toastmaster Vegetation, going ahead something similar what you will have and uh, so you it's not something similar you need to create a story there's an image given to you there will be an image shared with you you just need to give a share a story with respect to this image it can be very creative yes please go ahead uh, this yeah thank you for a nice topic tip topic master this image is stuck in my mind in the current pandemic stages. They are advising you are not supposed to, you are supposed to keep social distance even in the market and other things. But this image stuck in my mind, common people, they are not following the rules and regulations in pandemic. Maybe first today, Dr. Radha Krishnan, Secretary, was giving an open statement. Even though if you have two doses completed, there is a chance to get pandemic, uh, that coronavirus, that is possibilities are there. Not only that, once you have COVID or COVID, COVID shield or co-vaccine, do not think that the corona will not affect you. At any cost, it will affect you. The corona mainly will pass on to by somebody else, those who are, who are spreading the coronavirus. That is why, please always keep a social distance, at least till December. Uh, once it comes, the 15 days isolation period is hectic schedule. Even though if you're taking a paracetamol tablet, my one of my cousin was admitted in Mayat hospital. He was saying that it's boring. You know that they will come, doctors will come and inspect me and they'll take the temperature and they'll give the paracetamol tablet, that's all. Nothing else. That is why he used to tell me that. He used to advise me also, Venkat, do not go outside. Keep a social distance. Once you come back to your residence, please wash your hands, legs, and other things, and remove your clothes and put it in a washing machine and wash it immediately. This picture shows me that we have to be very careful. Instead of blaming the government, blaming others, we have to be very careful to avoid any further infection, so like panda in this pandemic area. Thanks for a nice topic. Over to you, David. Thank you, Venkatesan. Um, we will go ahead uh, with other, uh, the, the rest of the members. And um, I would like to invite uh, Trishmaster Darren. Darren, uh, can you please unmute and come online? You're able to hear. Hello, Dar Darren, you are able to hear? Yes, 
please move to the next person yeah okay so i'd like to invite uh Chashmata siva siva you're you're here can can you please yeah. unmute yeah i'm online yes yeah. yes siva so one more um, story uh, for you and uh, looking at the image, just a story can be very creative and please go ahead. Shiva. Okay. Well, thank you table topic, topic master for Ashwin for this uh, topic. So from seeing this uh, uh, image, I could see a uh, a kid in the cloud nine, I mean, so he is in the horizon and he's able to see the world in a different perspective. And beneath he's having a book and all his dreams come true because of learning. So I could relate this uh, to a young kid who is having the aspiration to become great and he could able to achieve that via education. So that demonstrates the importance and the change uh, we could bring uh, through education and teaching. So everyone who has the aspiration to become great, uh, they can do that via reading um, quite interesting um, informational books and sharing the knowledge with others that uh, we can reach to great heights and serve the, and make the world a better place. So thank you, uh, Turbul Topic Master, for this great award to you. Thank you. And thank you, Shiva. So uh, we will uh, move on to the next person. Um, I would um, uh, like to invite uh, Tosh Master uh, Sundar Asin. Tosh Master Sundar Asin, you're able yes, to- Yes, Table Topic Master, yes. I'm here. Yeah, all right, good. So you will have, uh, you'll need to create a story uh, with this image. Uh, so going ahead. Yes, this is for you. Uh, thank you, Table Topic Master. One word, joy. We can't forget our childhood and the friends and the place we have played with. It's total joy. And holding the balloons, running around and enjoying the time in a pleasant climate. If you see in our life, in different periods of our life, the childhood, the teenage and young man and middle-aged and old age, the most pleasant is that kids period which we have gone through because we have gone through without any worries. Parents, teachers, they all have, take, have shared our worries. Rather, we were the happiest people at that time and we all have crossed that particular joyful period, that joy. And sometimes uh, the, one of the, the saints, when I was talking to him, Sri Sri Ravi Shankar, he has mentioned in his article, said that when you are angry, just see the children's innocence and the joy they are expressing. And they don't expect anything in return. A bright smile from their face really cheers up and it gives joy. For that sake, actually, on my uh, table, I used to keep this keychain with smiley face, always. My son used to ask why you are purchasing one more keychain, but any smiley face brightens me and brightens other person and certainly it will brighten our society also. A smiley face with joy. We will forget, at least we can enjoy the present time. The biggest yoga, they say, enjoy the present time. The childhood joy is the biggest joy. Over to Table Topic Master. Thank you, Tushmaster Sundaris. Ashwin, uh, we have two more minutes, so you okay. can go with one more uh, participant, oh, one, one more time. Right. You, okay. you can probably call a guest. Guest, yeah. Okay, well, I'll uh, guest uh, Jay Sudha, you are, are you here? Are you able to, can you please unmute? Guest Jay Sudha. Yes, welcome. And Jay Sudha, for you, there is a riddle and uh, please find the word uh, in this. And uh, I'll give you a clue. Before the clue, I just want to check before the clue if you're able to find. It's only for just guys. Smile. 
yeah okay the clue is coming and uh, in fact uh, sorry you are guessing something you guess the smile <laughs> no no Oh, sir, I couldn't get. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The yes. Clue. This is my clue. Smile. Yeah. 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 I got ah, it. Smile. In fact, our previous speaker gave you the clue too with his keychain. So, the the word is uh, smile and uh, simple title and what makes you smile. So good afternoon, everybody. So I'm happy to uh, present in my session. Second participation day, uh, so I like this word a smile. Uh, I always uh, try to keep my face uh, in this uh, smile to show the uh, smile emotions. Uh, so uh, in our daily and current life, we are almost the stressful and uh, fear situation. We are facing a lot of stressful and fear uh, situation. Situation. To overcome that, I constantly remind and keep myself uh, in this uh, emotion smile. So I like to keep myself smile and also a person around me to the extent uh, I keep uh, my family members and friends who are around me in the smile state. Um, so the smile is a very good emotion. Actually, the smile will come only if we feel and if we are in a happy state. So it uh, the priority is to focus to keep ourselves in a happy happy state. Uh, without happiness, that smile will be there, but it will be a fake one. So I suggest everybody and uh, to see each and every moment in a happy state. So thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jaya Sudha. So with this, we conclude and it is a great image to conclude, to smile and let's keep spreading the smile too. And uh, over to uh, TMOD of the day, uh, Toshmaster Vegetation. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, Ashwin, for the most interesting uh, session. It was like watching an investigative movie solving puzzles. Sometimes I feel like I, I, I need to be called in the TT session today and sometimes I feel I should escape away from it because it's the most interesting and also more intriguing. So I could see that some of us did not get an opportunity. They might be happy or they might be sad, but please be sure that we have another fun zone game which will be equally interesting and more entertaining, which will be coming after the keynote speaker session uh, event now. So please, please stay tuned. We'll be back with another fun zone. Thanks, uh, Ashwin, for that. <clears throat> with this, I would like to move up on to the next uh, session of the day. So the next session is our welcome. We welcome our guest keynote speaker, Toastmaster Dylan Joseph. Time has come to welcome him. Earlier this year, TM Dylan gave us an extra reason to follow the ISC contest. Hailing from neighboring Sri Lanka and a member of District 82, of which we were a part till not so long, Dylan has been a winner. Welcome, Dylan, to tell us how to upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself, TM Dylan. Over to you, sir. Dylan Joseph, The Gap. The Gap, Dylan Joseph. I was just four years old when I was acting out the role of Incredible Hulk, my favorite superhero. He was inside the TV on top of a tall building. I was inside the house on top of the sewing machine. He jumped from that tall building shattered the entire floor. I jumped from that sewing machine, boom, shattered the sofa and broke my hand. I knew heroes won't cry, so did I. But my mother, she didn't cry, she screamed. No sooner the entire village was at my place. They rushed me to the hospital. I saw 
tears in everyone's eyes when the doctors said, we cannot fix it. Knowing that broken toys are being thrown to the bin, I asked my mother, Mom, will I be thrown to a bin? With tears in her eyes, she kissed on my forehead and said, No, my little hero, we love you for who you are. Contestia and fellow heroes, do you have a part in your life where no one could fix it and you're still worried about it? I remember the days that my body started. I was just 13 when I wanted to play cricket for my school. One day at cricket practices, the coach was instructing in his deep voice, boys, Let's do some catching practices. Eyes on the ball, hands together. If you miss the catch, one full round and ten push out. Remember, eyes on the ball, hands together. I was eagerly waiting for my turn. The ball came super fast, fell right through my hand, had a good knock ooh, on my knee with a greater pain. I looked at my hands. I saw the gap between them. And I saw the gap in my life. I almost gave up. But I thought, why not a bigger ball? So I practiced basketball for three years. All the matches I was at the bench. I never qualified to represent my team because of my gap. I thought to hide behind my gaps and give up on my dream. Have you ever felt the same? To hide and to give up? Well, you are not alone. I have felt it more than a thousand times. I approached my dad. Dad, now I tried small balls, big balls, but none of the ball games seems to be working with me. Dilan, everyone is unique in their own ways. Learn to accept yourself for who you are. If you do so, you will wake up to the real you. That evening, at church with my prayers. I hear once was lost, but now I found. I heard an angelic voice join the choir. To see, the lady next to me was listening to my prayers, and she was, join the choir, join the choir. I joined the choir. I sang solos, stewards, four-part harmonies, all sort of music. I fell in love with my voice and I discovered my talent. Being a chorister, percussions are my favorite instruments. But every time I tried to play, I missed the rhythm of the beat because of my gap. I thought to myself, Am I going to miss the rhythm of my life? I remembered my father's voice. Accept yourself for who you are and you will wake up to the real you. Ladies and gentlemen, later I became a manufacturer of percussion instruments, even though I cannot play them. The time passed by, I reached the prime age of my life. My parents introduced me to a girl. Whoa, she was a beauty and I was a beast, said my friends. Not only that, I had my gap. Deep inside my heart, I was worried. Would she accept me? I remembered my father's words. I mustered my courage on a dazzling night under the bright moonlight. 
I went down on my knee. She said no to her single life, but yes, to be my wife. Today, we are blessed with two and half kids. Professionally, I became a successful banker and a manufacturer for part time. My life taught me not to hide behind my gap, but to accept myself for who I am. Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken, said by Oscar Wilde. Ladies and gentlemen, how many times have you tried to hide behind your gaps without waking up to the real you? Are you ready to accept yourself for who you are and wake up to the real you? Contest chair. Now, how many of you want to deliver an impactful speech? Now, do you have a speech to deliver? Now, every time when I ask this question, 80% of the crowd try to put their virtual hand down. This story, The Gap, is a story where I wanted to share with the entire world since I was a kid. But the English was the third language when it comes to me. I had a big struggle when I was in the college. I still remember I used to come home and fight with my sister, asking to speak with English. But being born to a Sri Lankan family and being English is the third language, it was a barrier until I start my career as a banker. Now I thought joining a bank would help me to come up with my language skills and to develop my communication styles. But still, I was not successful until I joined Toastmasters. Now, I will tell you how I joined Toastmasters. Of course, it was not a joining that I had a purpose to join. Because the reason why I joined Toastmasters was my friends was in a trouble. I knew they were finding a member. But still, I took up that challenge and the very next day they called me and said, Dilan, we need an MC for the insulation ceremony, which is on, which is in tomorrow. Now, Toastmasters, do they really work on time? Until the last minute, they were not having an MC for the insulation ceremony. My friends, that night was the longest night in my life. But I started to practice that script. On the insulation day, I still remember, I was standing in that podium. I said, ladies and gentlemen, I saw the eyes of the senior management suddenly caught that podium. They were looking at me, even though I was reading the script, in the corner of my eyes, I could see them staring at me. Do you think it's bad? to be in the limelight of the management because of the first word you utter, ladies and gentlemen. My friends, there is something called corporate visibility. I was 
visible that day. And I never thought that visibility could create more opportunities in my life. They promoted me as a manager. Now I'm, I was managing credit department and they gave me another department, recoveries. As if, if you give loans, you better recover. I took up that challenge. I upgraded myself. Later, they found that I was good in forming teams. They gave me another challenge. They made me the head of the department for the contact center and recoveries. On one side, I try to console people and on the other side, I try to recover. Now it's two different tasks, but it was easy for me because I was trying to upgrade myself. Everything in your life is difficult until everything become easy. The time that you spend in front of the camera trying to deliver a speech is still your heart is beating to see the DTMs and to see all the Toastmasters with the fluent language. It might scare you, but it's difficult until you start it. In 2015, I joined as a Toastmaster. But until 2017, I was just a member. I pay and I wait. It's easy. No need to do the roles. When you go on to the Toastmaster meeting, maximum you can talk only two, 20 seconds. That's all. Of course, physical, physical meetings that you had refreshment. You can enjoy that too. But you will start to find your talent the time that you try to engage in their meetings. Take up the meeting rules. Go and do some evaluation. I'm sure that you would find in the evaluations how you look at things and it helps you to discover who you are. In 2017, I started to con contest. First, I contested in the humorous speech contest. I went up to the area, third place. Then in 2018, I went, I competed on the international speech contest. I went up to the division. That year, 2018, I competed in the humorous speech contest on 2009. I was on a bigger stage. 2019, the stage was almost the size of a football stadium in India, if you may remember. Ovation. That was my first district speech. In 2020, I contested again in the international speech contest. Then I decided it's going virtual. Now Corona hit us all. This virtual screen, it's not the place that I'm belong to. I gave up the humorous speech contest. But there was one thing which was worrying me always, Dilan. You have a story to share with the rest of the world. In the semi-final speech, I love the every move that I make. I love every word that I utter. I love my eye contact. And I love every bit of that speech. And every second I remember as a memory. My friends, Toastmasters gave me the stage to deliver my speech. And I'm sure that the same stage is awaiting for you. When are you going to 
step onto that stage and share your story. As a speaker, I will give you three, three, three levels of speaking, or rather what would audience expect you when you walk onto the stage? The very first one, audience wants to know who is the speaker. That was the very first thing which crosses the audience mind. Imagine that you're talking about the pollution as a, as a topic, as a speech. Now the audience want to know who is this person is talking about pollution. It brings credibility. The second thing that the audience wants to know is what is in it for me? Why should I listen to this speaker? That is where you can bring what is happening around the world because of the pollution. You can talk about what pollution, air pollution and anything. To make it an impactful speech, the third thing matters a lot. That is where the audience will look. Why should I care about it? That is where you can tell. If you don't take care of the environment, you will die before it's time for you to die. That make an impactful ending because the audience is selfish in a way. Are we as an audience, aren't we looking for something on the speeches are being delivered? Aren't we? thinking, are we wasting time by listening to this speaker? Remember, you should be an impactful speaker to go on to that big stage. Now, everyone think, okay, contest, I should win. Do you know winning is the most subjective thing in this world? Do you think it is in your control? If it is not, why are you worried about winning? There are so many other things that you can control. Concentrate about your speech, concentrate about your delivery, concentrate about your vocal variety. When you put everything together, that makes you a winner. I had the privilege to associate almost 18 speakers in the semi-final stage. What I did was I created a WhatsApp group and I added them all. Now, every one of them has one common goal. Is it winning? To give an impactful message, to give an impactful speech to the world and to create an impact in the world. I'm sure that you have a story that can create an impact in the world. As a semi-finalist, if I can, if I may give an hint to you what is your district age should be. My friends, your district stage should be an international stage. Don't ever practice for the district. Practice for the semi-final. Until you do that, you will stop your journey in the district stage. Think global. Prepare global, because that is where you bring an impact. I have witnessed many of the Toastmaster speeches. Every stage that you deliver, you can't do the same thing on the next stage. I delivered a separate speech at the club level. I did 
the same speech which I delivered in the club level, in the area level, but I changed the division speech. The gap went on to the district. I changed the gap when compared to the area, uh, to the division. When I went to the, went on to the semi-final stage, I changed my district speech to the semi-final stage. That is where you upgrade yourself. If you're planning to deliver the same speech over and over again, you should remember many of the Toastmasters would do that, but there might be a Toastmaster who decide, who be bold and prepare for the next level. Are you preparing for the next level? I love Toastmasters mentoring. I see many mentors in the audience. I met one of the best Toastmasters in District 83 to groom me in this Toastmasters journey. The Toastmaster mentoring is amazing. For me, Toastmaster mentoring is something that you're drawing on a see-through paper by keeping the paper on the protege, the mentee, and sharpening those sharp moves on the drawing. It's not, you're changing the mentee totally. You're trying to bring something out from the mentee. That journey, that transformation helped me to go into the semi-final stage. I'm sure that you have a lot of questions to ask when it comes to the competitions, how you must face it. Let me take that opportunity. If you have any questions, let me share my knowledge and what I experienced with you. Thanks, Dylan. Uh, all participants, uh, we have another five minutes. I think uh, we can ask questions to Dylan. The stage is open. Hi, Dylan. I'm Beckett from Medley. My name is Beckett Asen. Whenever I am preparing speech for contest, it's keep on changing. Every day, night, I'm sleeping. Next day morning, I'll think that, can I add two lines or three lines? Can I add the modification? The editing process is going on till the last minute. What is your advice? My advice is, if you can change your speech, even before the five minutes of the delivery, you have a better talent. Take that risk because when you see the audience, when you listen to the other speeches, you know what the edge that you can bring out to make it an outstanding speech. Yes, but if you're not that type of a person, freeze your changing in a particular time, or maybe three days before, maybe five days before, maybe one week before, you have to do it because if you try to change it at the last moment, you don't know what you're going to do. And it worries you throughout your speech. Now, with, with that, I will tell, it happens to your attire. It happens the background. It happens with the environment. Because you have to make everything managed when you're delivering your speech. It's you and your speech only. So I am a person who cannot change the speech. I freeze it, I practice it. Then I go on to the stage. I know what I have practiced. I deliver it with confidence. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Uh, Toastmaster, can I? Is that yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thanks for Toastmaster Dillon for mentioning about mentoring. 
it's very important i for the past 10 years i'm also doing mentoring i have come across several type of toastmaster so just i like to clarify with you what is the responsibility of the speak of the mentor and the mentee the percentage differs sometimes like two sides of a coin your opinion please yes sir my first thing first point of this of this question is mentor should understand the mentee very well because mentor is the third eye of mentee because my personality is seen by the mentor and she should groom my in my case to distinguish to master ganga she brought my movements sharp anything any place that i try to be low she made me up keeping my personality on the on the spot because she didn't try to change me she tried to improve me she tried to upgrade me that is where understanding the mentee would be very important and the mentee's responsibility there might be many feedback that you get but as a mentee i'm very much very much conscious about what i am going to adapt to my speech because at the end of the day it's my speech it's my personality because if you try to match these levels then whatever the whatever the mentoring comes from the mentor and whatever the adoption comes from the mentee would be in the same platform then it would come onto one level this understanding is very important sometimes people think mentoring is changing the person no it's bringing out the best of the mentee and mentees one advice for you all you should be coachable you should be agile you should fix yourself according to the environment that is your duty because third i brings a lot of quality for you they bring something something amazing out of you now in my case i i told that there are few few things that you need to focus on your speech your vocal variety your gestures online you need the third person you need the mentor to step in i practice the close pauses like the cricket and everything and my mentee say what is the best angle of myself to capture on the camera now this is the relationship that we should have with the mentee and mentor both should understand their roles properly thank you sir thank you any more questions yes i would like to ask uh, our speaker one question i did watch yes, your uh, uh, my gap it was truly touching truly touching uh, you just now mentioned that uh, you we need to have more than one story ready as a backup when you go for a bigger stage so what's the minimum number of stories you kept yourself ready with oh when it which means when it comes to this your particular speech inside that story is or separate speeches that you should separate have. separate separate speeches it's like i would say you should not have a lot okay. because having lot your focus dilutes a lot what i would say is have three speeches and keep on polishing them brushing up them until they become a winning speech sometimes what we think is that speech we are giving at the area level is a good speech until you go to the finals yes but every level is different as i told you have to keep on polishing them so if you have three speeches well practiced well rehearsed and make sure that it creates an impact sometimes we don't think about the audience whether the audience has gets an impact out of your speech you keep on practicing because your duty is to deliver no as a speaker you are a messenger you are 
your duty is to take that message to the audience not just to deliver a speech so keep it simple keep it little and keep on polishing them up until you get the best out of your speeches thank you so much yeah thanks uh, everyone for your wonderful questions i hope i got the clarifications timodi i yes sir yes yeah i'll end i'll end my session with these words now i had the opportunity to go on to that stage and deliver the speech about my life when are you going to deliver your speech and make an impact in the world over to you to your body it's an inspiring speech uh toastmaster dilan and as you said i i would do it pretty soon i would say it, it was truly an inspiring speech from the creator of the celebrated speech the gap as ms priya said toastmaster priya said the gap video i also watched uh, it was really wonderful and inspiring be yourself everyone is taken by someone else nice quote keep upgrading yourself three levels of speaking audience wants to know who is the speaker what credibility he brings in second what is in it for me why should i listen to him third one why should i care about it audience is after all selfish a new definition for winner importance of mentoring and above all thanks mr dilan for your patient and detailed responses to our medleyans queries on behalf of an inspired audience i thank you for accepting our invitation and attending this event request all audience to applaud and thank toastmaster dilan for coming with us and delivering this speech thank you thank you thank you in your life so far when did you feel the most happiest can someone open up and say which moment did you feel the most happiest person you were sorry childhood when we were kids i think the question should not be for the uh, the organizer but when there was, when yeah. there was unfettered joy yes yes you are right those are the moments of childhood when you could be your true self never mind if you look foolish or comic so long as you had some fun our young toastmaster atishay has sworn to make us look funny perhaps but wise at the end before we get into the event atishay is an outdoors lover he belongs to agra and he is currently working as a data scientist at vyasat chennai regarding his promise to medley as an young turk to keep growing and improving while also lifting up everyone around him welcome to master atishay lead us to your fools paradise now thank you thank you to master venkat and a very good evening ladies and gentlemen welcome to the fools paradise like when cut introduced this is your chance to look foolish and then come out wise at the end without wasting much time i'll just explain how this event will work so the first step is i will pick someone from the audience at random and then over zoom chat i will message an english idiom to you so i will share that idiom to you over zoom chat and now the challenge for this intelligent person who i picked randomly is to help everyone else in the audience decipher the idiom that was shared with them without speaking it out so you are allowed to use gestures facial expressions props or anything else that you can think of use your creativity but you're not allowed to speak so you need to convey that idiom you need to help the audience guess that idiom using gestures facial expressions props or anything else that you can think of two things that are not allowed number one actually writing it down on a piece of paper and then showing it on the zoom on the zoom camera so you can't write it down 
And number two, of course, you can't message it to someone in the audience. But everything else is fair game. And the audience, all of us in the audience, will try to guess what the idiom that you're trying to convey. So uh, does anyone have any questions about the game, the rules, or anything at all? And just a small clarification, Atishi. So you will be sharing the idiom to the specific person whom you are calling up through chat, yes. right? Chat message. Yeah. yeah. Zoom chat. So okay. whoever is called, I'll, uh, I'll share the idiom with you over Zoom chat. And then you will be the one who will be staying on mute and trying to enact that idiom so that everyone else understands. All right. Yeah. One demo would help. Okay. So let's do the first one as a demo. And uh, I'm going to pick you, Priya. Is that cool? Are you available? Yes, very much. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to send you something on the Zoom chat. And for the audience, this will be an English idiom. You would probably have heard this a lot of the, uh, you, you would have heard this in a lot of Toastmaster speeches. You might have seen this in, uh, in whatever reading you do. So Priya, did you get the idiom? Yeah. Okay. So now you, Priya will try to enact this. And I request the Zoom master to please put her, or Priya, could you please mute yourself? And then everyone else in the audience will try to guess what the idiom is based on whatever Priya tries to act. So let's begin. Four words. Four words. Four yeah. words. Password. Password. Last one. Last, last one. Ice. Ice. Uh -huh. First one. First. First. Heart. Heart. Apple of your eye. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this was, it. this was uh, it. I'm Manju. Man okay. All right. So let's have, yeah, that was correct. And that was much quicker than I had thought. I think Priya asked for a demo because she knew she'll be able to do it quickly. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'm kidding. Not I'm bad. kidding. I'm kidding. Good job. So let's have Manju next. Uh, DTM Manju, are you available? DTM Manju? Yeah, I'm available. Okay, perfect. So I'll send you an idiom over chat. Let me know when you see it. Okay, okay, so. All right. So let's start and everyone can start. Uh, like feel, audience, feel free to unmute and shout out your guesses so that we know if we're on the right track or not. DTM one, you please go ahead. For First. Clap. Beat. 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 Uh, Beat the bush. Beat, Beat the bush. Beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. Beating around the bush. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Priya got it first. I think Priya is an expert at this game. No. I'm lucky to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anyone know of lottery tickets being sold? Yeah. Send it to me. I can buy a few for Priya if you're willing to do a profit share. No. Okay, so let's have, uh, who do we pick next? Thank you, DTM Manju. This was super quick. Let's have a few difficult ones. Mm -hmm. So do we have Toastmaster Jairaj? Toastmaster Jairaj, are you available on the meetings? Uh, yes, I see him. Is, I think Jairaj yeah. RMZ Verizon. Okay, okay, no problem. So do we have, yeah, we'll come back to him later yeah. when he's available. Do we have Kartikian? Yes. Kartikian? Yeah, yeah, this is. Okay, perfect. So I'm sending you an idiom on chat. Okay. Let me know when you see it. Chat box room. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay, so let's start. How many words? Yeah, start with that. 
start with the number of words like everyone we'll start with the number of words it'll make it easier very big very long one <laughs> yeah very long <laughs> okay flower tree 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 ah that's right cutting the trees cutting Cut. the trees cutting the trees cutting the trees branches branches don't open your mouth oh, yeah he's trying hard tree. not to speak not One. to mouth the words tree tree x x x rotate okay how many words can, totally kartik and here is a hint for you so you can try you don't have to use the word in the exact sense it's used in the phrase you can use like in, you can use other forms of the word other meanings of the word i did say i did say actually so, uh, don't speak, don't how many how many words but i can't say it is not word it is a sentence it no, is a very no, it, the sentence has words right just do it like this like this, priya and dtm one today sharpen the, sharpen the axe before you cut the tree sharpen the axe no that's not it good guess good guess but something yeah. like that there's a tree Some, it's close it's close yeah yeah it's related to doing something to the tree yeah sharpen the axe dash 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 okay the word before the tree is wrong mm. so it's doing something to the wrong tree barking up the wrong tree sharpen yes, the axe before right. cutting the tree that's right no oh, yeah. atm manju manju wood cutter barking up the wrong tree no barking up the wrong tree barking up the wrong barking up the wrong tree yeah all right thank you manju thank you yeah okay so let's call guest robinson next guest robinson are you there is not available okay do we have uh, toast master ragunath nair ragunath c nair yes sir sure. all right so i get to quiz my mentor on this one um <laughs> i sent you i sent you a message to master ragunath did you get it yes all right so let's do this three letters three, three words three letters down bend 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 hi bend forward bend next up. bend next in mountain sir bend bend back bend backward second one bend yeah. is like beckham huh? bend is like <laughs> yeah no unfortunately this isn't the movies wala dumb shit that bend. bend in the road or something bend round first one is bend third one bend back hmm Don't lean, lean, lean. You're so close. I think someone got two of the three words right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, lean, lean. Just, just one more word. Nalal pol pol vala indi kodu. No. Sir, this is English word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's all. It's all English. Unfortunately, I can't give you Tamil idioms. Bend like bamboo. Hum. Oh. Bend over. Bamba. Bend over. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So close. Bend over, so close. Bend over backwards. Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's right. Sorry, what was the word? Bend over backwards. Bend over backwards. Oh, yeah. So I'll get half of the price. Correct. Yeah, you'll get you'll get half, but a DTM Manju is leading the scoreboard today. He's on a roll. And so. Okay. And so is Priya. Yeah. Let's have uh, Mohana Sundaram. Are you there? Are you available on the meeting? He should be. Was yeah. That's okay. Mohan, are you there? Yes, sir. Is here, but I don't know the rules. Uh, I take a short break before you answer. Okay. Okay. So the rules are pretty straightforward. You just I'll send you an idiom, and you just need to act it out, and everyone else in the audience will try to guess it. That's it. Okay. Are you up for it? Okay, yeah me. even before starting he is showing red color <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm sending it to you mohan let me know when you see it
Okay. All right. So let's start and try not to mouth it. Like just act with your yeah. Bottle, bottle. Let's start with the number of Large. words in the phrase. Oh, oh, you have to turn off your head. Yes, yeah. correct. You able to see your back. You can't see that object. Turn off your virtual background. Yeah. Red bottle. <laughs> no, it's not related to the background color. Smoke it. Oh, can you do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah that is good. Ah. How many words are there? How many words? Oh, good, good. Good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Oh, how many words are there? How many sentences? Ten no words are. No. Seven. Seven. Seven words. Okay. Seven words. Seven words. Okay. Seven words. My God. Back. 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 Yeah. Bush. Back horn. Bottle. 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 Try uh, more and try explaining the love words at the end. Hotel, book, note, note, book. notebook, flower, flower, house, oh, garden, house. garden, painting, house. painting, oh, from anyone. Oh, crap. Book. ITC, classmate, Check. painting is close, painting is close, painting. something, photograph, art, art. photograph, is close. Drawing. image, Drawing. paint, background, classmate, 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 ITC. Classroom. Classroom. School. 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 Yeah. Someone said it. Someone said it. Picture. Yeah. Someone said it. Someone said it. Picture. Picture. Blackboard. 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 Oh no, no, no not writing on the wall. Writing on the wall. Don't use the plastic. No. There's, a, there's writing, okay. there's printing, there is a another house. hint. There's a number in the phrase. Cool. There's a number in the phrase that Mohan is trying to act out. A picture is worth yeah, Atisha, I think we have a time like time limit, please. Okay. okay. Venkat, someone was very close to guessing it out. Someone was uh, saying the right save, thing. Save, save the, the world, background a value. Stitch, a stitch in time yeah. saves mine. Can no, uh, not the not the one about stitch in time. I think. Can confirm which one is a character. So anyone tell me it's, the it's, the writing. The picture is worth one thousand words. Oh, okay. Yeah, a picture, a picture is worth picture is better than more words. Oh, okay. Is, yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Words. Well done. Well done. Mohan. All right. Venkat, how yes, much time yes. do we have? Do we have? Uh, we are almost uh, close to. Uh, Please call you, Perishami. Yeah, he is there from the beginning. Perishami. Perishami. You get two minutes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You get two minutes. Ten yeah, minutes. Perishami yeah. can be. Perishami, are you available on the call? Yes. 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 Satishai. Okay. Perfect. So I'm sending you a phrase that you need to act out. And let's make this an easy one. <laughs> Did you get it? All right. So let's start. How, how many words? This is backdrop is uh, blocking. Yeah, the backdrop yeah, is. You, you might need to disable the virtual background. Can start. you change your background? Yeah. yeah. Okay. How many words? Three, Three words. Okay. Third one. First Third one. one. Okay. Back. Back. Okay. Back. Back. Oh, Back. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, I don't think we have a lot of time. Yeah. But the one thing I took away from this session is, if, if we're ever playing dumb charades in a uh, in a in person meeting, I would like to be, I would like to have TTM Manju and Priya in my team. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, so yeah, I think we're. 
yeah, zoom right. master yeah i think we're out of time so thank yeah. you everyone for being good sports and well done saw a lot of we saw a lot of intelligent people make quick guesses in this event called pools paradise and yeah back to you toast master today thank you yeah so can can someone uh, zoom master put everyone on mute please Yeah, I lost control. I think uh, Guru Prasad sir is doing that. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, so let me take up. Wow. Uh, it could I could see uh, participants still reliving their childhood. With this fun zone event, we are nearing the end of our meeting. Pride and promise. Medley milestone meeting number six hundred and fifty. Let me share the simple thought. Be proud of what you are, but make a promise to get better. and make it better for our children and the generations to come promise and practice sustainability in every action that you do with this thought i hand over to presiding officer toastmaster renga thank you wow that was something it's been a long time since we just let go and had fun such fun i would like to take this opportunity to thank toastmaster dilan joseph for accepting our offer to be the keynote speaker the district trio had to leave due to other reasons our members and guests who who were here to grace the occasion i would also like to thank dtm manju who who is present here and he is the she is the chief district judge thank you for attending our milestone meeting dtm manju i would like to take some feedback from the guests who are here and uh, i see dr jay suda yes dr jay suda we would like to Hi. hear from you yes sir uh, so really very interesting and excited to listen the speech happened here and their confidence and body language which made me uh, to be in the ecstasy state and i'm literally in the imaginary world as if i'm delivering a speech <laughs> <laughs> hope and believe that my dream true so thank you so much for this opportunity and uh, mr dilan joseph uh, speech uh, accept yourself as you are it's a great motivation and inspiration so hats off uh, to uh, mr dilan joseph sir so it's a wonderful session sir so no doubt to continue this toast master club so i'm excited and i'm very happy to look forward thank you so much sir thank you thank you dr jay suda thank and you, uh, is uh, is jay raj there i don't uh, see him okay uh diti manju would you like to say a few words uh, first of all i would like to th uh, thank uh, distinguished toast master thomas uh, for inviting me uh, because it's not every day you get a chance to listen to a great education session from dilan so i joined with the primary objective uh, doing that but then he encouraged me to stay back for the fun part i was planning to drop off but i'm i'm thanking god thank god i think in this last one week i didn't have so much happiness uh, i think uh, toastmaster adishay just packaged in lot of happiness for us by encouraging us to think beyond the box think out of the box rather <laughs> and exercise our gray cells make us feel young again so thank you so much and medley is always a special club for me because when i joined toastmasters in 2013 at that time medley uh, club was our spawn i think they used to uh, assign mentors from medley in fact uh, btm guru he is there right now he used to come to infosys and guide us all in fact we used to use lot of medley templates back then 2013 14 uh, i think he used to bring medley agenda template medley ge checklist medley i think everything used to have medley we used to change the name and put it as infuse shows <laughs> to masters club so i think we learned from one of the best clubs possible in uh, at least in tamil nadu and sri lanka so 
I have that special connection with Medley as well. So happy to be part of Medley and that too of this momentous occasion when you are celebrating your 650th milestone. So hope you uh, enjoy your journey because when you enjoy, I'm sure you'll grow as well. So enjoy your journey and I'm sure the rest will follow. All Thank the best. You. Thank you so much, DTM Manju. So thank you all honored guests, role players, medleyans for making this a memorable, memorable day for all of us. Today's milestone meeting is a proof that our bunch of youngsters will lead medley to greater heights in the coming years. That is promise to go with the pride. With that, I declare meeting number 650. I adjourn meeting number 650. Best wishes all. So I now open this for discussions.